Hello everyone. Our topic for today is face modulation. Face modulation is one form of angle modulation like the frequency modulation which we have seen in the last class. Now in this lecture, we shall try to define what is face modulation and derive the equivalence between PM and FM. Now let us see where we use this PM modulation technique or the applications of PM modulation. PM modulation is widely used for transmitting radio waves. It is also an integral part of many digital coding schemes that underlie a wide range of technologies like the Wi-Fi, GSM and the satellite television. It is also used for waveform generation in digital synthesizers for FM synthesis. Now let us try to define phase modulation. Now the definition of phase modulation is very similar to how we have defined AM or FM. Now this is the expression for a carrier signal. ECT is given by EC sin omega CT plus phi C. This has been the expression for the carrier. We have seen this particular form for the carrier signal both for the definition of AM as well as PM. Now in any modulation technique what we do is either the the amplitude, this is the amp EC is the amplitude of the carrier signal, the maximum amplitude of the carrier signal, omega C is the angular frequency of the carrier signal, phi C is the initial phase of the or the constant phase of the carrier signal. So now what we do is that any one characteristic, either the amplitude, frequency or the phase is being varied with respect to the instantaneous amplitude of the modulating signal in the case of modulation. So that's a basic definition of modulation. In AM modulation, we were trying to vary, vary the EC, this amplitude. We tried to vary amplitude with respect to instantaneous amplitude of modulating signal. In frequency modulation, we try to vary the frequency omega C with respect to instantaneous amplitude of the modulating signal. And in phase modulation, what we try to do is we try to vary the phase. This whole thing is a phase angle. We try to vary the phase with respect to the instantaneous amplitude of the modulating signal. So this is the this or when we try to vary the phase we have to remember that the frequency as well as the amplitude is maintained as a constant. So now just look into the next one. So instantaneous phase angle from this expression of carrier signal what is the instantaneous phase angle of a PM modulated wave? So in, in uh, PM modulation, what we have said is that we try to change the phase of the carrier with respect to instantaneous amplitude of the modulating signal. So this is the phase angle phi. What is there inside this bracket, so inside the sign bracket, this is the phase angle. So this phase angle is actually C. What I've written C here is this is a constant because this omega C is a constant in the case of phase modulation. So omega C T plus phi T is the initial phase of the initial uh, phase shift of your carrier signal. So phi C T plus phi C is a constant. That constant is shown by the C over here plus K into EMT. So what we are showing over here is this is phase modulation. The phase is varied with respect to the instantaneous amplitude of the modulating signal C plus K into EMT. And we know that this is actually a phase or this is angle and this is the voltage. So this K is actually a proportionality constant and this K the unit is radians per volt. So radians per volt into this EMT is in volts and this again becomes radians. So C is in radians. This is in radians or you find that the angle here we have is in radians. The angular term in phase modulation can be written as phi t is equal to omega c t plus k into emt. Now this is just from what we have written earlier. We have just taken that angle term alone omega c t plus k into emt. You find that phi c is missing. The earlier term we had the angle as omega c t plus phi c that was the initial phase difference plus k into emt. Now over here you have got omega c t plus k into emt because phi c being a constant we have ignored, we have just ignored that constant term phi c. Now corresponding instantaneous frequency for this phase modulation is given by 1 by 2 pi d theta t by dt. Now you can just see why how we have written this expression. We know that omega i t the instantaneous angular frequency is given by given the angle you know omega i t is equal to d theta 
d theta t by dt and omega i is 2 pi fi so 2 pi fi t is equal to d theta i by dt or you can write that fi t or the instantaneous frequency corresponding to phase modulation is given by 1 by 2 pi d theta t by dt. Now we try to derive the equivalence between pm and an fm. So we have already got the expression for instantaneous frequency of a pm wave. The instantaneous frequency of a pm wave is obtained as fit is 1 by 2 pi d theta by dt. Now from that just substituting the value of theta t in this expression fim i i pm t so just understand what this represents is instantaneous frequency of a phase modulated wave is given by 1 by 2 pi d by dt of we are just substituting the value of theta t over here omega ct plus k into emt please remember we have just omitted 5 c, 5 c being that a constant so omega ct plus k into emt now we have got fi pmt is equal to the first term when you differentiate you get this fc plus k by 2 pi into d by dt of emt. So what we are trying to show over here is that phase modulation can be used to produce frequency modulation. So this is one method of generating phase modulation. So in the applications also we have listed that you can use it for waveform generation in digital synthesizers mainly for this FM synthesis purpose. So this is a method that is actually being used for generating FM by using phase modulation. So now we have seen that phase modulation can be used to produce frequency modulation. So now we'll just show you that with this uh, just by uh, giving a different example. Just consider the input VMT if you consider the input vmt vmt is equal to 1 by tau integral 0 to t emt dt that is we are just giving an input to a phase modulator and the input is vmt and this input is actually the integral of the input which we had considered earlier earlier we had considered the input signal as emt and then we were trying to do phase modulation by giving this as the modulating signal so now instead of emt we are just trying to have vmt over here as the input which is the integral of your emt now this is just to show the equivalence between fm and pm so the equivalent FM frequency modulation corresponding to this particular, the equivalent frequency modulation corresponding to this particular input can be written as FC plus K by 2 pi into D by DT VMT. So please remember earlier we had D by DT of EMT but here in this example we have got VMT as the input. If you have here K by 2 pi D by DT of VMT and now the main reason why we have put an input signal like this is because we just want to nullify this effect of differentiation which is actually coming in the expression for the frequency modulation in of F the frequency uh, instantaneous frequency of a phase modulated wave so therefore substituting for vmt this expression in this we find that this differentiation of this integral gives you back this emt itself and you get the expression for fi pmt or the instantaneous frequency corresponding to the phase modulation as fc plus k by 2 pi tau into emt now please understand this tau is a integration constant for this particular modulator now we'll just compare this expression of frequency modulation the instantaneous frequency of a phase modulator with the expression of instantaneous frequency for a fm modulator now this is the expression for instantaneous frequency of phase modulator what we have derived and this is the expression for instantaneous frequency for an fm modulated wave now instantaneous frequency fit is given by fc you can just recollect this expression we have already seen fc plus k into emt now just compare the expression for fit in the case of fm and fit in the case of pm so just see over here what we can see is that this constant what we have k or your deviation constant or your proportionality constant what we had what was k over here in fm is now k by 2 pi tau in the case of phase modulation so this is how fm and pm are related and this is how we can actually generate an fm modulated wave by using a by using a phase modulator 
So this block diagram shows how you can generate a frequency modulated wave by using a phase modulator. So this is just a block diagram FM obtained from PM. So this is what we've been explain, explaining all through. You have your input signal, the EMT, which is being integrated, and then you have VMT. So this is done only because you know that in your phase modulator, you have a D by DT of theta T coming in. And in order to nullify the effect of the differentiation, we do an integration prior to giving it to prior to providing the input to the uh, phase modulator. So here EMT is what we have. The output is the integrated value of EMT. You give it to a phase modulator and you find that the output FM modulator wave. Just the same expression as what we see in FM modulation. This is the expression for instantaneous frequency in FM modulation and this is exactly what we are deriving by using a phase modulator. In this lecture we have defined phase modulation we have also derived the equivalence between frequency modulation and phase modulation. That is all for this session. Thank you.